learning how to fly a paraglider or power paraglider means knowing what to do and also knowing what is happening. The first part is mainly a practical thing. The second part is mainly a theoretical thing. I strongly believe that these two are equally important and that they support each other. Yet the fun thing is for practical flying and training, you need to do planning. You need to have your gear sorted out. You probably need to travel. You need to take time off. You probably have to fight with your spouse. Yet for the theory part, you don't need much at all. All you need really is some material to get these brain cells firing. And maybe, just maybe, that's this book. I have seen hundreds of pilots develop themselves in the past 26 years and I've been able to contribute to that for a little bit as well. And without a doubt, the pilots that excel at flying with confidence and getting joy out of their flying are the ones that keep a healthy balance between theory and practice. They keep alternating between soaking up new information, seeing things in practice and opening up registers in your brain for more theory. So the title of this book is Paragliding, The Beginner's Guide. It also says on this little orange dot, designed to help you pass your pilot exams. But when we look at the bottom of the cover, it clearly states expert advice on launching, soaring and thermaling. Your guide to the weather. So there may be more than meets the eye. So is this the guide you're looking for to take you by the hand all the way from the start well into the intermediate level. And is it also of interest to paramotor pilots? In this episode, I'll be reviewing this book. So let's find out. Welcome to Flight Coach. If you're new here, my name is Bas van Duin and it is my mission to help you get more out of life in your flying career through having less stress and more skills. And one of the things that will help you get more skills is using these brain cells. So first off, full disclosure, Cross Country Magazine sent me this book because they thought it might be interesting for you guys to hear about. If you buy the book via the link in the description below, I get a small commission at no extra cost to you, so that's a great way to support the channel. Thanks a lot. And because I got it for free, I decided to give it away. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you how you can get this exact book. So you can pick this book up for respectively 23.95 British pounds, 29.95 euros, or 34.95 US dollars. And this falls in the price range of many comparable books. So first a little bit about the author, because that's one of the things that I always find interesting when someone holds a presentation or writes a book. Who the heck is this? And why should I be interested in what this person has to say? Well, the author is Bastiana Wenzel. And as you may have guessed by the name, yes, she's from Holland too. She is actually a professional science writer, as well as a paragliding pilot and teacher. She also teaches paragliding theory courses and is editor for the Dutch hang gliding and paragliding magazine Lift. And of course we have Ed Ewing, who is known from Cross Country Magazine and who did the editing for this book. Now looking at the uh, cover of the book, it suggests that's a book that is mainly aimed at beginners. But when looking at the rest of the cover and the index, it becomes clear that the book aims to take you further than just getting qualified. So how is it doing those things? And how is it at doing those things? This is a very colorful book. Many illustrations in the form of pictures, schematics and diagrams, as you can see here. The writing style is accessible. It's well formulated and it's engaging. I'd just like to read you a passage to give you an idea of what those words actually mean. This is an introduction to a topic, meteorology. The earth is surrounded by a layer of gas, only 100 kilometers thick, the atmosphere. This layer protects our planet and everything that lives on it. The conditions in the atmosphere play an important role in our daily lives. We call this the weather. The study of the weather is meteorology, and with some knowledge of it we can, to a certain extent, Important emphasis here. Predict the weather. For paraglider pilots, the weather is crucial. It determines whether or not we can take off. If you want to fly a long way or for a long time, you need to know how the weather may develop during the day. 
It helps especially to know where to find rising air. Just as importantly, meteorology may help you to recognize turbulence, strong winds or bad weather before they get you into trouble. Let's also take a look at something uh, a bit more nasty. A topic that a lot of beginning pilots, students and even experienced pilots struggle with. Aerodynamics. Now, This is the foundation of why we fly, yet most people tend to forget it as soon as they pass their exams. This paragraph is titled the lift formula. At the beginning of this chapter we saw that a paraglider wing generates lift because it deflects an airflow. The shape of the wing, also called an aerofoil, causes the air to deflect. But lift is not only dependent on the shape of the paraglider, it also depends on the speed of the airflow. Or in other words, the speed of the paraglider with respect to the air. Additionally, the size of the wing and the density of the air play a role. These quantities are put into a formula called the lift formula. I hope you now have some idea about the writing style of the author. There's a natural flow in the book, but chapters can be studied independently. There is no prerequisite of reading a certain chapter before you can read another chapter, which is very interesting for pilots that have prior knowledge. If you've never seen a paraglider in your whole life, the author takes you by the hand. But also if you've been flying for a while, this book can deepen your knowledge. I will list my pros and cons and I like to finish on a positive note, so I'll start with some minor gripes. There is no summary at the end of chapters. There is, There are no questions to check for yourself whether you have attained all the knowledge that the chapter wants to share with you. Now personally I love that because I like making my own excerpts when studying, but I know it can be dependent on the learning style. Some people may find the book lacking on this front. I found that in some cases the book goes very far into details. And this can be a very interesting thing, but I really doubt whether it is that interesting for all the readers. As an example, the book goes quite into a lot of detail. It spends a whole page on how tandem flying works, what equipment you need, uh, that there are special emergency parachutes, special releases, um, special equipment like spreader bars. I think that for the vast majority of pilots, will never become tandem pilots anyway. This is just wasted information. And this especially goes for the majority of people that will be reading this book, which will be beginners. I think these section, I think there are some sections that could have been um, shortened to provide more space for explaining other topics. So just some minor gripes. Let's dive into the pros of the book. I think it's very comprehensive. It covers everything that an aspiring pilot should know and then some. It's also offering lots of study worthy material for pilots in the intermediate phase, like going into thermal flying and more advanced techniques. What I especially appreciate is that the book um, is honest about the fact that on some subjects there is still a difference of opinion between the experts even. A nice example on this is what I what we're seeing here. Using a helper to anchor you in strong wind is one of those techniques that divides opinion. And then the author goes on um, explaining the pros and cons and the different reasonings why some people think it is a good idea while others think it is a bad idea. I think this is a very real life representation um, about what is going on in our flying scene. What I also like is that the book does not just teach you facts, but it also teaches you some attitude and some morality. For instance, it clearly explains why it is important to give way to rescue helicopters. It shares some of the perspectives that the uh, emergency helicopter pilot will have. It also goes into detail, for instance, on the question, are you fit to fly? And I think it is a great thing that the author included these topics in the book. What also makes studying a breeze is that the important terms and definitions that you have to know are printed in bold. And the author also takes you along in getting your gear. It makes a clear description of what you can encounter and also what things to look out for specifically, also when buying your equipment secondhand. The book is clearly written with not only the international pilot in mind, but also the international traveling pilot in mind that may encounter different rules, regulations and habits in different parts of the world. Every 
chapter concludes with a little learn more box, pointing you towards different types of information. Some stuff that is written in other books, uh, YouTube channels, uh, handouts that you can find online, websites, and that's a great way to make sure the readers that want to can follow up on certain topics. So my conclusion is, this is a great book. If you're currently learning to fly a paraglider, this is must-have study material. I should note that for powered paragliding pilots, this is also a very interesting work, but it will not completely cover what you need to know to pass your exams. There is a huge overlap between powered paragliding and normal paragliding, but there are also a lot of differences. This book, of course, was also never intended as complete and comprehensive study material for PPG pilots, mind you. I think for PPG pilots, this will provide a lot of interesting reading to expand your horizons. If you are an intermediate paragliding pilot, I also think this can be a very interesting book for you. While it will hopefully contain a lot of information that's familiar to you, it will probably be presented in a different way than you're used to helping you to refresh knowledge that may have disappeared to the back of your brain or disappeared to somewhere over there. I think this can be a great holiday gift for yourself or someone that is into flying or is getting into flying. Remember, you can get it via the link in the description below. And if you're fast, Cross Country Magazine temporarily has a free worldwide shipping service going on. So maybe check that out. If you want to expand your knowledge even further, about our beautiful hobby. I made a video about two other books that I think you should really read. And I've placed a link to it right here. Now, if after hearing all this, you're interested in getting this book and getting it completely for free, you can very easily enter my giveaway contest. All that I ask you to do is three things. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel with the notifications on, leave a like to this video, and in the comments down below, let me know why you should be the one to get this book. The most original response. I'll send you this book and I'll ship it to you worldwide on my expenses. And I will announce the winner after two weeks via a pinned comment to this video. See you next time. See you in the air.